I would appreciate that. I'm about to jump in the ocean. We're just chilling. What's up creatives? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the easiest smooth zoom transition. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there already on this effect because it's so popular. It's like the Sam Coulter effect, uh, but this is probably the easiest way to do it without all the extra duplicating and rotating clips and all that, you know, whatever, whatever. So basically I got a vlog open up that I recently shot and I actually used the zoom effect a couple times in it. I want to show you the easiest way to do it. So let's get right into it. So basically I got these clips right here and they transition into each other with a zoom I'm gonna show you how it works so there you go so I added a little audio effect and you can do that as well just to make the zoom seem more realistic and you can find those on YouTube if you just go search those so how you do this effect is you want to go over to your effects and you want to type in transform and under distort you'll see transform and basically what you want to do let me take it off of the clip that it's already on you want to drag this transform onto your clip now this is how I do it if I'll go to the end of the clip where I want it to where right where it's about to transition and I click this stopwatch right here for scale to set a keyframe uh, I unclick use composition shutter angle and I boost shutter angle all the way to the top so it'll give some motion blur now this is a keyframe set at the end of the clip and I always go back at least two or three frames one two two or three I'm gonna do two here and I come back here and click this button to set another keyframe so there we have a keyframe set where we want to start the effect and where we want to end the effect so that's two frames okay so at the beginning of course we want to keep it regular size video and then you scroll back the two frames to the end of the clip where it transitions you want to come back here and you just want to scale it up to zoom it in you can go up to 300 so now it's scaled all the way in and it'll keyframe from the starting keyframe here to the zoomed in effect now as you can see it's already set on there as it's zooming in right there it's got the motion blur it's not the exact same look as a Sam Coulter effect because they do theirs in After Effects and it's a lot more to it. But this one is just a simple, easy way to do it and give that same look. It looks just as good to me. Now, you can also uh, add a transform to the clip that it's coming into and do the same exact thing. You want to set the keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle. Boost Shutter Angle to 360. Scroll forward two frames. Uh, do another keyframe for the scale now it's coming from zoomed in to back out normal so you want to keep it regular at the second keyframe we'll go back to and we'll zoom it in on the scale to 300 now that way it'll come from zoomed in back out basically what this is doing is on the other clip is going from regular zoomed in and then to the next clip zoomed in to back out basically there you go it just flows in perfect but sometimes I do it just zooming in and right into the regular clip it's really up to you how you want to do it and you can also like I said add the audio now I got that one now I got a couple of different ones you know I'm gonna test this one so you want to zoom in get it right there Boom. drag that in where your uh, zoom is And there you go. You got a cool zoom. Then you bring your audio back in and now I think I got another one coming up right here. So that was another one. Zoomed right into that and I think I got another one over here. So yeah man the zoom I mean it looks great. It's simple. It's very easy. You use transform. You set your keyframes and you just zoom in when the clip ends and zoom back out when the next clip comes in. So if this helped you guys like this, uh, share this for other people to see and uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this on simple little different effects or things like that. Also comment below if you have any questions or you have any other tutorials that you'd like to see. See you guys next video, peace. I'm